What is going on everybody? A couple new gadgets in. I want to try out. One is, uh, I was watching Justin Mendez on YouTube. I watch him a lot. Justin had a cool gadget that he had on his bucket to keep mullet from jumping out. Thought it was pretty awesome. So I want to do a little experiment. I want to try to put some finger mullet in this bucket. Check this out. Trash can bucket topper. This thing just stretches right over any five gallon bucket and keeps mullet from bouncing right out. And it's not that hard plastic lid that we've all been using. I thought it might be a cool option to that plastic lid because I've never been a big fan. I cut a little bitty hole in this mesh so I can put my, my baby bubbles on there. So I'm gonna go down the street over here, catch some finger mullet, put them in here and see how long they live. I've been wanting to do that too, just with the summer heat, see how long I can get them to survive without changing the water or anything. Let's see what happens. So how many can I keep in this bucket and keep alive for one hour? That's the goal, one hour before I can catch them in early in the morning and get to the ramp and get them some fresh water. Got a really good bait spot I can hit in the dark before I go guide early in the morning. And it's looking like it's going to pan out really well. First cast, I caught plenty of fish. Jackpot, sir. I'm going to have to do another video later on because here's the test. How long will this trash topper lid last when I'm pouring salt water on it or salt water spraying on it? I'm really looking for like the three to six inch finger mullet, nothing bigger. Maybe so. Yes, that's the size I'm after. Perfect. Definitely plenty of mullet in this ditch today. This guy right here is too big. We're going to throw him back. Got some shad. They're nice and soft. The chickens will love them. I like these three to six inch finger mullet because they're chunky and heavy. I can put just a J hook on a, on a line and throw them like a lure. They got a lot of chunky body weight. Three, four inch finger. This is what all your paddle tails imitate. So what do we end up with? We ended up with like seven or eight perfect finger mullets and two large fingers. I caught my last big snook on one like this and I caught my big tarpon on one like that. So those are all perfect. Everybody's okay right now, I'm sure. How much time are we in? Let's check back in like, I don't know, an hour. 31 minutes in. Ah, you see him try to jump? That's what that thing is for. Still let some air in. Why am I concerned with this, folks? I'm starting to bring live bait along with me on some guides. Using it first thing in the morning. So since I'm gonna use it early and this switch to artificial, I'm curious, you know, if they'll last an hour or two. We'll see how long they go. Since we're about to hit the 60 minute mark, the one hour mark. Let's see how our guys are doing. Maybe I can, this thing's hard. There we go. Let's check everybody's status. This is three quarters of a bucket. Water's, oh, look, look, still jumping. All right, one hour in, we're solid. How long? We can go this way with this 80 degree bath water and just an aerator. The key here maybe that I only have like 10 mullet in here. It's a tight fit. I wish they had like a drawstring. Almost at two hours. Whoa, and I just heard one jump. This trash can bucket topper is still working. One just took a jump. Water's hot. Nobody's dead. This is a lot. Look, man, that's awesome, dude. I'm at two hours. They're really alive and well. That's like bath water. So what this tells me, if I catch them in the morning, I've got time to drive to the location. I've got time to paddle out. I've got time to use them. If I put some fresh water in there with them, even mo better. I'm excited. I think the topper is going to be a, a big asset for me. I'm looking forward to trying this out with guides I have this weekend. Comment below and let me know what you think about the trash can topper and about aerators and bubblers and what you do to extend the life of your live bait. We'll catch you later. What? <laughs>